time to be part of the self learning process. Thanks, please. Now this is uh, this is uh, what we see uh, many of the things that we do, uh, starting from the pre module. Then we have all the uh, uh, connected connection with the, between the students and the uh, tutors or the faculty members. Then we have our learning management system, which is of course an important aspect of our learning process. The student can have access to the learning management system uh, where they can have uh, their connectivity with, between with their teachers as well as of course part of it is of course they have audio uh, modules then they have PDI modules and of course uh, they have digital library and our digital library is one of the best in the country because we are forced to have it because our students are everywhere we don't have a structure that take care of all our students all over the country so they have to rely on the digital library then we have web-based modules, multimedia courseware, i webs and so on. But let me just touch a bit on the i radio. This is where I think we are clever enough because in Malaysia, like most countries, you need a license from the government to have a radio broadcast. But because we utilize the website, we we do not have to have that license. So this is the beauty of internet and web using the website. So the, the iRadio, through the iRadio, we should broadcast to all the students. They can download the material and they can read or listen at any time they want. So this is an important aspect of reaching the students. What is important is last week I, I was in Maldives where they are using our model of the i radio to reach all the islands in the Maldives. Because like Maldives, like Indonesia, there are thousands of islands, but of course Maldives is a smaller micro zone of Indonesia. But nevertheless, they have all the islands where they utilize, or rather they use our model of i radio. And I think maybe we can share this with you too, maybe, maybe, if they want. Next, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, we uh, in Malaysia want as many students as possible to be part of the, uh, uh, what you call, to create a center of educational excellence. And for this, the government has been targeting next year, at the end of next year, to reach 100,000 foreign students. And believe it or not, for the moment we have 70,000 foreign students, mostly from China, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Iran. And Indonesia is an important component of this 47%. We have many Indonesian students who are studying the Banyan University. Now, of course, you may say that we need another 30,000 for the whole year, and I believe that it can be done. You will reach 100,000 because the, uh, the promotion that has been made, the uh, image of some of the good universities has been accepted by many parents as well as students in this part of the world. Now, the postgraduate students are mainly concentrated in the public universities, the, uh, the run by the state uh, universities, whereas the private, the private institution, the private universities and colleges, they are mainly catering for the first degree students. Now, of course, as you know, to do this, the government has to support the various uh, uh, initiatives taken by the private sector as well. And this is done in the normal uh, marketing procedures, marketing uh, cost-effective option that has been done by many public as well as private universities and of course to, to, to support this they have certain legislation particularly the, uh, the uh, private institution private higher education institution act of 1996 that promote uh, 
public and public as well as private universities to 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 have uh, students from overseas. Next, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say uh, that OUM as a education provider has a different role in the sense that.